welcome back to Music with Ryan. Thanks for joining me today. I've got a new lesson up, and as you just saw and heard, a version of me and Bobby McGee done in the Carter style, okay? And now, I didn't take the Janis Joplin version. I took Chris Christopherson, the writer of the tune, and I transcribed his melody line from one of his live performances. Um, he does sing it a little bit different than Janis Joplin, so it's kind of hard to get her melody out of your head because that's the one that's popular and everyone usually typically knows, you know, that's the one I, I, how I know it. So I had to kind of like, uh, kind of retrain my brain for Mr. Chris, uh, Christopherson's version of the tune. This is a request from a new premier member out there. And um, yeah, I wrote a nice Carter style, you know, beginning to advanced beginner Carter style arrangement. There's definitely some tricky things in there. I did it for the whole tune, so there's about 50 some measures of music here. And uh, if you're interested in purchasing the full length version, you can click the link above or below and it'll come with about uh, probably over 40 minutes of video, PDF tabs, and three backing tracks so you kind of work your speed up. So this is just a preview here on YouTube or Facebook, depending on where you're watching. But you click one of the links and it'll shoot you on over there. You can check out all my instructional material if you so choose. Also, if you really enjoy the way I teach and approach learning, like my song selection, you can click uh, one of the other links that says Memberships and learn about being a member and access my whole library of um, songs and lessons. I come out with a new lesson each week and I've got over 220 at the site. So I'm always adding stuff up there. But for now, we're going to go ahead and give you a little taste of how this lesson is going to go. We'll bring in the camera. We've got Cape on the second fret here. We're working on a deep or C position in the key of D. And uh, yeah, let's go through it a little bit. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy. All right, so let's go ahead and start walking through me and Bobby McGee in the key of D. Capo on the second fret, playing out of C position. And uh, a lot of measures here, but we also have some parts that um, repeat themselves as well, or some similar phrases amongst all of this. So not every thing is completely different. But um, So I'm going to play the first four measures and then break them down. Remember the markings on the bottom of the staff are pick directions. Any markings above the staff are left hand fingerings. There are a few. So watch out for those. But um, so here we go. Beginning two. Ready go. Okay, starting off pretty basic. And there's kind of a regular strumming pattern that we are using because there's some measures where we got to fill it up with strums and uh, yeah there's this uh, I'll go over the pattern that I'm will be often using so but that first measure is just all quarter notes on the G string it almost seems too simple but that's kind of the way again I followed his melody really close and that's what he's doing when he's singing is nothing more really um, and I wanted to keep this again like a beginner a beginner to a beginner advanced arrangement or advanced beginner arrangement. So, okay, four quarter notes on the open G. And again, I'm playing out of that C position. Um, most of the time, I'll be holding down the chord. One, two, three, four. And then the next measure, we got a quarter note on that open G. And then three, two on the D string. So I do have to move my third finger a little bit. That was the right uh, strumming there, but I didn't say the right actual count there. And four, and that's that little strumming. So there's a little tie there. You see um, tying over beat three. So when we tie, we don't play that second note, that note that's in parentheses. Okay, we hold for the duration of those two notes. So that kind of creates a double upstroke in there. Down, up. As you see, I, I'm strumming on the higher three strings. If you get three or four strings, that's all right, but I have marked there the three strings, kind of keeping it clean. And four, and one, two, and three, and four, and that's the count there. One, two, and three, and four, and. 
So those two measures combined, let you go. So again, we're going to be kind of doing that strumming pattern is going to come up in here, well, throughout the piece, but we'll go over it a little bit more in depth here in a sec. So the third full measure, though, let's move on to the third full measure. So we got an open G, quarter note, and then I have like a half a strum here. I come down, but on the up, I'm just going to play the open G. which takes a little finesse, a little touch on your guitar. One, two, and. So on the and of two, we just play the open G instead of strumming all of them. You know, if you do hit the other strings, it's not the end of the world, but I am trying to bring forward that melody note. And then right back down on the chord, uh, for a chord note on the open G. I'm gonna do a little double stop. I'm gonna play so third fret on the D and the open G. Sound a little dissonant when you play it slowly. Got an F and a G kind of rubbing up against each other, but that's the melody there. I wanted to add a little more to it. Whoop. Ready, go. the next measure and go back down to the second fret D and play those uh, the D and the G together and then here's our strumming pattern that we're gonna be doing a lot of one two three and four and. so again we have a tied rhythm there we're not playing on beat three so it's beat two is tying over to beat three and then I'm playing on the and of three so if I play that measure exactly measure four it'd be like one You can just sit around or play the bass note of the C chord. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four. And. So that will be a common strumming pattern we use throughout the whole piece. Okay, it's kind of the somewhat the groove, kind of defining the groove a little bit for us. So, but in this case, we play those double stops, the D and the E string. I'm um, sorry, the D string and the G string. And then down, up, down. So let's put all four of those measures together now. Two, ready, go. Again, I think really, because we're going to be doing a lot of this, but focusing on measure three and just when you strum and then have to come up on just a single note, those are the spots that I seem to think are some of the trickier ones. You know, you got to have a little touch about you. You know, going down on all of them and then coming just back up on one string can be tricky business. And again, we're doing that to bring forth the melody, of course. So let's move on. To measure five, six, and seven. Oh. 